Hi, it's Nick Astor with TriplePundit.com at the Fortune Brainstorm Green 2013 conference. I'm here with Jennifer Holmgren. She is the CEO of a company called Lands Attack, uh, a biofuels company. Is that the right way to characterize it? Yeah, except that I also think about it as a carbon capture mm -hmm. technology. So what we do is we capture emissions and we convert them into biofuels. That's, that's a really huge concept. You're not just creating biofuels, but you're actually capturing carbon. Can you walk us through what that means? Absolutely. What we do is, well, you're used to the fermentation of sugar. You're used to organisms taking carbon and energy from a sugar molecule. Our organism takes carbon and energy from a carbon monoxide molecule. Normally, carbon monoxide is an industrial emission. It gets emitted, converted to, to carbon dioxide, becomes a greenhouse gas, and that's it. What we do is we pick it up before it does that, and we convert it to something useful. Ethanol, sometimes also chemicals. We're making precursors to butadiene. So someday we hope to make nylon from this waste emission. No kidding. This is, this is a lot of stuff. And right now, where is the waste coming from? Is what industry? Yeah, so the main industry we're focused on right now is steel. The steel industry emits quite a bit of carbon monoxide. In fact, they emit enough carbon monoxide that we could make, if we captured all of it, 30 billion gallons of ethanol per year. What does 30 billion add up to as a percentage of, I don't know, gasoline equivalent? Is that the right? Is, yeah, there, a, a, is so, there an equivalent um, there? So the world uses about a trillion gallons a year mm -hmm. of um, fuels. So this, is, this would be a small portion, but it's a significant portion. Not to mention you're getting rid of a problem. That's right. And that's the key is um, our company is trying to find uses for waste. We're used to burying waste. Mm -hmm. You know, we bury carbon. We spend a lot of money burying carbon. We don't want to do that. We want to use money to produce products that make money, money right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the key difference with what we do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the steel industry. So how does, the, how does the, the, the capturing process actually work? Is this happening somewhere today? It is, actually. We've got two facilities that are making 100,000 gallons of ethanol a year, both in China, both at a steel mill. So we basically have our unit sitting next to a steel mill. The pipe that would normally go out to flare comes into our unit instead. Mm -hmm. And then, then what happens? You, you mentioned that you have an organism, some yeah. kind of... Yeah, the organism basically ferments it, just like you would making beer, and mm -hmm. it just ferments it, produces ethanol in a continuous process. The reaction happens in seconds, so we can capture a lot of waste and put out a lot of ethanol. Mm -hmm. and, and how far are we away from having this be a scalable, uh, something that I can uh, you know, really start to see impact? Yeah, so we are building three commercial units right now. Mm -hmm. So we should be making over 150 million gallons a year by the end of next year, early 2015. Mm -hmm. And how about how much uh, carbon does that get out of the atmosphere? Ooh, that's a good question, which I can't answer. Yeah. I don't. I didn't ever quantitate it that way. Okay. Okay. Well, nonetheless, thanks so much for your time. It's uh, good to see you, and best of luck. Thank you.